Hello my dear students, I welcome you all in my lectures third lecture of unit 1 that is on artificial intelligence and machine learning for business planning. So, in this lecture I will cover the topic machine learning, several machine learning approaches like artificial neural network, clustering, reinforcement learning, decision tree learning and base networks. So, artificial neural network is basically what? Artificial neural network is basically the you have to put your brain into the machine. So, in your brain what happened? There are several biological neurons that are moving, that are, there are gazillions of neurons in your brain, there are gazillions of uh, uh, major inputs, brain uh, systems nerves that are moving in your brain. So, artificial intelligence in machine there will not be the biological neurons, there will be an artificial neurons also. Okay. So, artificial neural network is usually based is basically the network based on biological neural network and it is constructed, its, its structure is same as just uh, constructed in the um, as the human brain. So, suppose this is just a neurons and that are connected each other. So, how it is connected? Several the gazillions of neurons are connected. So, it what it do? It will just take the input and obviously, after analyzing, after processing it will perform the output. Now, how it is all connected? Several neurons are there and all neurons are connected each other okay. and this is the passing, this is the uh, ad signal, this is the, the way of passing the messages from one place to another place in instantly right. So, from where you will take the input and it is just a accordingly after processing give the output. So, many these are the connection you can say it just a weight right and these are the hidden layer that is hidden. You just see only input and output, but in between so many neurons are also uh, there for performing, for analyzing, for doing this particular task and prompt it out as as the, it requires. So, input and output, uh, in between these input and outputs weights are there that will pass your signal to the output section. So, as such there is no section, but what you will do your effectors, your actuator will perform the task right. So, how actuator will work, how actuator will perform the task, this is the output. When once it getting the signal from into your brain, the actuator will perform the task and as human brain having the actuator what? Arms, legs, these are the actuator that by which you will perform right. So, machine, what is the actuator in machine? You, you will be just in, in, in built the thing that will acting just, just you can see the example of robot. In robot what happened? They are having arms, legs, whatever you just instructed robot will perform accordingly, robot actuator will perform accordingly. So, artificial neural network means biological neurons will not be there, you there will be artificial neurons will be there. So, artificial means signal will be passes via neurons and this is just said to be the weights ok and you will give input and take output only is not it. But in between what happened? Some hidden layers is also there and these particular these nodes are said to be the neurons, these nodes are said to be the neurons, neurons are connected each other in this manner. Some portion will be missing, but the rest of the portion will take the input and give the output. So, artificial neural network is usually all about the computational network based on the biological neural network that construct the structure of the human brain that construct the structure of just kind of human brain. Okay. So, you have to in you have to put the biological neurons into the machine, but if you will put the biological neurons into the machine that is said to be the artificial neural network. 
is not it. So, artificial neural network this is the biological neurons, this is the biological neuron. So, biological neurons what happen? Several dendroids will take the signals from your brain, is not it? It is all over the mm, scatter, dendroid will take the input and it will pass the input into the cell nucleus. Cell will be processed, this nucleon section will be processed what exactly you have to perform after that, what kind of signal you are getting. Then it will be just process the thing and after process axons will be passing the signal to the other dendroids, the to the other dendroids and they are un again connected. As in the you see in the previous picture, neurons are connected each other, is not it? So, what happened? These neurons will work, how it will work? It will work like several dendroids will be connected and the processing performed will be help of the cell nucleus and cell nucleus after that it will pass via the axioms and axiom it is again connected by the dendroid you can say synopsis and these are connected together and pass the information from one place to another place. So many inputs you are taking here right x1, x2 this is just the input and its weight is simultaneously passes then what happened you will sum up that function, you will sum up that function and after that you will take the output. These dendroid will pass and processed and pass via axioms and again, then again connect dendroids, is not it. So, if in computer I in if, in if I am talking in mathematical sense that so many inputs are there and via what, what are the weights that is that the things that you have given and that will be again sum up and accordingly you will get the output, is not it. So, this is how the artificial neural network work, you have to keep, you have to put the biological neurons into your machine only. So, machine, how machine will be work? Machine will work same as just work in the biological neurons into your mind, okay. Now, the second approach of machine learning is Second approach means clustering, clustering means so many tasks are assigned to you, so many work are uh, you are having. So, you have to perform the task very efficiently and being a management student you are having a lot of tasks, you are having a so many uh, assignments instantly. What you will do for doing all that? You will just uh, decompose the data right you will just make the cluster in technical term you will just say it in a cluster cluster is what cluster is just a way of grouping the data points into different different clusters same task will be assigned same kind of task will be assigned in one cluster another kind of task is assigned in another cluster and all are obviously collected each other isn't it all are collected with each other. So, the cluster is what basically it comes under the unsupervised learning, right. Machine learning is categorized into the three part, supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning, is not it. Unsupervised means it is totally up to you, you are not, there is no any supervision, how you have to do, who will you, uh, who will do that and what are the per particular way by which you will perform the task very efficiently. As such, there is no uh, uh, prime line that you will follow that, it is totally it comes under the unsupervised category, By, right. Suppose you are going into the mall, mall then what happened? You just see the section where the one section having the t-shirt, one section having the uh, trousers means men sections are different, women sections are different, kids sections are different. So, they are making the clusters separately that is very easy for the particular customer to find out the things right if they wanted if the person wants to take the um, item for the kid you will just in a stay out go and take the item of, you know, from the kid section right so clustering basically what clustering is the way of grouping the data points into different clusters so that it will easy to identify it will easy to uh, solve it is well helpful to solve the uh, things in a 
um, in a very well efficiently in a efficient manner. So, the object within the possible similarities remain in the group, similar object will be remain in the group and has less or no similarities with another group that are having no similarities, we will make the cluster, you will make the different cluster, is not it. So, clustering basically you can see the several, um, you can see the example of clustering into uh, in the a, any of the mall, any of the work assignment that you have given, the, you have to do a as you want efficiently. It is not necessary ki if somebody follow the same pattern, uh, you just straight away follow the thing. You will just make your own cluster for solving the thing, is not it? So, this is just a way of grouping the data points into different cluster, different uh, method, different way, same kind of uh, objects will be uh, keep inside the uh, one cluster another kind of uh, objects will inside reside in the other cluster. So, it is all will be combined together, is not it. So, basically cluster is what? Cluster is categorizing into several parts. You can say that uh, the hard cluster, soft cluster, hard cluster means ki if data belongs to only one group and soft cluster means data point belong to another group also. So, hard cluster, soft cluster, hierarchical clustering also there, partitioning clustering, density based clustering, distribution model based clustering, fuzzy clustering, so many types of ways by which you will just make your own cluster, hierarchical clustering, partitioning clustering, density based clustering. Suppose uh, I am taking, if I am taking the example uh, density clustering, density clustering means ki, suppose if the area is small that means the things will be so much concise, so much closely. If the area some having, if the area has wide instant that means key factor has been scattered. So, the dense it is just all about it is just based on the environment that to how you will uh, make the things efficiently that is why your flow will be easy. So, density based clustering, partitioning clustering, partitioning clustering means you will just make similar kind of objects as you want. You will just partition the things, you will just partition the object into several kind of based structure that you want. Now, the reinforcement learning, reinforcement learning is basically reward based learning, reward based learning one was the supervised learning that was totally uh, focuses under the supervision of the guide, but unsupervised it is totally upon you. The un reinforcement learning it is reward based learning means there are basically five factors involved. Suppose there is an agent, agent means that, that that will perform the task, right? That will face the challenges. So, intelligent agents, you have to make your machine intelligent. So, you have you will use the intelligent agent, no? intelligent agent will interact with the environment, right? Inter, inter, intelligent agent, agent, whatever it is, inter, agent will interact with the environment, and how you interact with the environment with the reward system, with the penalty, whatever you just bound to do the tasks from the agent and after this it will perform the task, it will get, take the uh, action, right. Suppose you want to, you just drive the car, then what happened? You just, you are the agent, you will take the, obviously you will judge the surrounding first, then you will drive the car, right. So, when you will drive the car, then what happened? If you are just seeing the uh, traffic light, then you will just take a pause there and after that, if the traffic light is over, then what happened? The, you will just move your car. That means, key intelligence agent, you will just, you are just intelligence agent, you will take the environment. If it is, if road is free, then you will just move it on and what happened? If you will just to pause, if you will just take pause in front of the traffic light, so then and traffic light gets over, then from the back side the horn will be pop up, horn will be. That means, ki you just started your work, 
right that means ki unknowingly or unknowingly falsely or unfalsely you just bound to move the car so initially you will just age in you will take the action you will change your state initially you just pause the state and after moving you will your state has been changed from one point to another point your state has been changed and after taking the feedback feedback means once the person from your back side get pop up the voice then you just forcefully move your car that means you will take the feedback from the environment so that you have to move it out in front uh, after that so reinforcement learning means falsely or unfalsely knowingly or unknowingly you have to do the task by any way so the agent continues doing all that by the three ways you will take the action you will change the state suppose you are the third semester student what happened in second semester you have given the exam and after getting the result then your state has been changed your state has been changed initially you were in the second semester now you are just in converted into the third semester so state uh, after teaching so much after getting after uh, taking the knowledge of so much subject then you are able to just jump it on the next uh, state right falsely or unfalsely uh, so so agent means you are the agent you are taking the uh, uh, feedback from the environment and you you just take in the feedback you just take in the uh, you just uh, take you will just give the input you will just uh, reflect it the output where in the environment and accordingly you just perform the task so your state has been changed from one place to another place falsely or unforced reinforcement means reward based learning penalty based learning karna hai so karna hai jaan bujh ke karna hai how how it is it's totally up to you okay so reinforcement learning what are the terms basically used in so many terms that Uh, i am using here agents environment action agents mean an entity agents mean an entity like you that you will perceive and explore what the environment and act in upon that act upon it where uh, from you will take the input from the environment and you have to give the output in the environment also and environment is what environment is just a situation where you have to act where you have to work so agent is present or surrounded by the things that is the environment real we like assume that is scholastic uh, stochastic environment which means it is random in nature every time your environment will be changed your nature your surrounding will be changed and you have to promptly say you have to promptly perform there so agent environment action actions are the moves actions are the moves from one place to another place actions are the moves that the agent will take within the environment so state state is what state is just a situation nature that is recommended in the environment after each action taken by the agent so reward based basically reward based is what on the basis of the feedback return to the agent from the environment you just evaluate the action okay so reward penalty it's these are the ways by which you will perform the action so reinforcement learning these are the terms that involve some more terms is also there their policies their values their q values these are also the term that you will use in the um, for accomplishing the task in reinforcement manner reinforcement is the penalty based learning you have to learn forcefully you have to learn next approach of machine learning is the decision tree learning decision tree learning suppose you have a offer letter and it's totally up to you whether you have to join the company or not do you want to join the company or not so what you will see if you have the offer letter first you will see that what are the bond what are the uh, salary structure what how much salary is this suppose you are getting the salary 40 to 80 if you are got, getting the salary 40 to 80000 then it's okay yes i will think about that so if i am saying the things will be in a tree manner 
then it is very easy to decide whether I have to perform the task or not. So, decision tree, decision tree obviously, decision tree learning means on the basis of the tree structure you are able to take the decision, right. So, suppose your salary structure is 42, if your salary is in between 40 to 50 thousand, then you can accept your bond or reject your bond. Accept, okay, I will accept it if it is near to my home, if it is near to my home and if it is not near at my home, then I will not, it, it will, I will reject it, I will discard it, is not it. If it is near to my home, but if it will uh, provide the cab facility, if it will provide the cab facility, then I will accept it, otherwise I will what? I will reject it. So, this is just a hierarchy by which you will take the decision. Suppose you are getting the job opportunity and you are having the job in your hand. So, whether you have to accept the opportunity or not, it is totally a hierarchical based thing. So, in this way you can take easily uh, action that you have, whether you have to accept the job or you have do not have to accept the job. That means, ki they are providing the cap facility, then I will be accepted. Means, salary should be in between, it should be, uh, it should be near to your home and if they are provided the care facility, then you just able to take the decision that you have to accept the job. Decision tree learning is basically supervised learning. That means, somebody's guide to you. Yes, you have to follow this approach, you have to do this task, you have to follow, you have to apply the things whatever they are providing, right. So, the decision tree is a supervised learning approach using a statistical data mining and machine learning base. So, decision tree types basically categorize into two types, classification trees and regression trees. So, classification tree is exactly what? Classification tree analysis is when the predicted outcome is the class to which of data belongs, in which category data belong. It will be easy to understand that ye whether this task I have to perform or not, is not it? And classification will help you. It, it will be discussed more in the later on video. Classification tree, you have to make the tree first and after that you will analyze, regressly analyze. Regression analysis is when the predicted outcome can be considered in a real number, real number that just as a price of the house, patient late patient length of the stay in the hospital or not. So, regretfully if you want to take the decision, so it will comes under this type, the decision tree learning algorithm. Decision tree learning algorithm means you have to form the whatever the task is assigned to you, you just make the tree structure, so that it is just easy to understand. So, you have seen this kind of structure is the supervised kind of structure, means ki this is all are predefined and we are following somebody. And clustering you have seen, clustering was the unsupervised learning, clustering means it is totally up to you, it is not necessary if something is uh, done by some person is the, in the other way, uh, in the uh, any way, so you just follow it in that way also. So, decision tree is the supervised category, comes under supervised category, whereas clustering comes under the unsupervised ca category. And why I am taking this kind of example here, because machine learning is categorized into the three parts, supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement. Reinforcement means knowingly or unknowingly, falsely or unfalsely you have to bound, you have to bound the, you have to bound the perform the task particular thing. So, decision tree and uh, types, it is already discussed. Now, the Bayesian network, Bayesian network is was, it is just a belief networks. Bayes nets for sorts to the family of probabilistic graphical model, Bayesian networks, you have to form the networks 
that means uh, the person faith the person believes occur uh, 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 or fall right so this is just a probabilistic graphical model suppose you are at your home right so what happened if you are at home and rain is raining outside then what happened then if rain is raining then your pet dog is barking and your pet rabbit is hide somewhere and you just observing the thing to uh, so many times 10 15 times and uh, what you find you find that after 7 or 8 times when the rain is raining your dog has hide and a dog has bark and rabbit has hide when dog but this is just a probability it is not happening every time but this is just a probabilistic model probabilistic graphical model that means when rain is raining that means rain is raining dog is barking and rabbit is hide so the situations if you will categorize the situation rain is raining dog bark uh, rabbit hide means they are belong they are totally dependent on that you will just make the prediction if this event is happened this event will definitely happen that is why you are able to forecast the match that means if India and Pakistan has fight it, fight this and under this circumstances under this pressure then India won the match otherwise Pakistan won the match how it all happens it is just a probabilistic model that is designed that is you have feed it in the machine you just analyze the previous feed it data and after that you are just able to take the decision that whether the match will be win or not. So, this is just a probabilistic probabilistic means keep in 10 or 15 times 8 times it happened. So, maybe the result of that see that will be the output ok. So, Bayesian network is what? Bayesian network is all about the probabilistic graphical model which is represented in a set of variables and their conditional dependency, conditional dependency there are the condition if this condition is there then the output will be there and it is not necessary right using the directed acyclic graph there is one more important thing this is it should not be in a graph uh, cycle manner it directed a cyclic graph a cyclic means there should not be any cycle cycle should not be form it should be directed a cyclic graph so bayesian network is all about the belief networks belongs to the family of the probabilistic graphical model this graphical structures are used to represent knowledge about the uncertain domain yes certainty is not there somebody says that India will lose the match it is not certain it is just a uncertain it is just a probabilistic under which condition they are lose the match. So, this is just a probabilistic model. So, you have to create the network. So, belief network that is why it is a belief network it should your your points your way your event should be acyclic it should not be cycle manner. So, Bayesian network is all about the probabilistic graphical model which represent a set of variables which represent a set of variables and their conditional dependency using a directed acyclic graph is not it. So, Bayesian network is all about thank you so much. So, some more approaches are left in so in a coming lecture I will cover my next approach also. So, I hope you will understand the lecture thank you so much.